Hey Cancer, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for uh, two important messages and three good things coming into your life in the rest of 2024. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. Uh, I do have personals open right now. I have a deal going on. Uh, it's a three question reading. Uh, so you can either get the email version, it's 2222, or you can get the video version, it's 4444. Um, these are open until Wednesday, October 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Everything's down below if you're interested, like I said, but we're going to go ahead and begin here. Cancer, see what we've got for you, okay? See what we got for Cancer here. All right. Some of you could have some Leo in your chart, possibly um, Big Three or Venus, some of you Mars. That Taurus and Libra energy here as well. Somebody here might be a Taurus or Libra moon. Um, so when it comes to the energies present here, we're going to start with your important messages, okay? You have the strength card showing up. So right off the bat, I really feel as if you're bouncing back from something. So this could be a situation that really stung in your life here. Um, you could be bouncing back from that. That can be a card of resilience. But I really feel that the important message here is that, you know, you're going to get through this. At the same time, I also feel as if Spirit's pushing you to be disciplined. For those of you who are not, um, you know, healing from something actively, something recent, uh, I feel as if this is Spirit pushing you to stay disciplined, stay on top of something because you're going to get to the other side. You're going to hit that finish line here. I think that's why strength is showing up. Spirit's like, hey, push through, keep going, stay disciplined, okay? Um, we have the seven of wands showing up right here. Some of you, that could be like working out, exercise, things of that nature. That could be why that's showing up because it can be like, you know, endurance and things like that. We have the uh, seven of wands here as your second important message. So, you know, seven of wands can be a card of like leveling up, passing a test, beating the odds. For a lot of you, I feel that this has to do with setting boundaries. Okay, I feel that for some of you, this could be uh, setting boundaries with an earth sign here or possibly a Libra. Okay, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or a Libra. I feel like there's someone in your life, though, um, no matter what sign they are here. I feel like somebody's overstepping. Okay, somebody's making um, like their hands are in too many decisions. You know what I mean? So for some of you, I do feel cancer as if spirit is like pushing you to set a boundary to draw a line with whoever this might be. All right. Um, and this could just be in relationships in general. Maybe people, maybe you're always allowing people to kind of like take the lead and decide certain things. And maybe you always put them first and they get kind of comfortable with that you know so that could be you needing to set that boundary and realize hey you know I've given enough so this is something I'm not going to sacrifice so it's time it's time to put me first here in this situation like you know so um I, I do see that being an important message as well setting boundaries we have the empress showing up here for one of the good things okay and you know really this is a card of fertility abundance it's good all around however you know when it comes to this energy, like a lot of readers read the Empress like somebody who is fertile or pregnant. And even in some decks, she shows up as pregnant, you know. But um, I do feel that with the Empress showing up, whether you're male or female, I feel like this is really like the birth of a new you. It seems like there's this energy of uh, your new self. And I feel like that's one of the good things uh, coming into your life here is a new version of you. And maybe that is a version that's more disciplined or maybe this discipline is what gets you there, right? It doesn't have to mean that it's just a new version physically, right? So I want to be clear about that. Like this could have to do with those boundaries and you standing firm and it, you know, creates this confidence within you and this respect, uh, you know, that people have towards you and that you have towards yourself. So again, I feel like a new version of yourself. You also have the six of pentacles showing up here. I feel like financial improvement you know i think money's going to get better here in the remainder of 2024 with this six of pentacles energy showing up here it may not be that you're like filthy rich overnight or anything of that nature but uh, i do feel like there could be some financial improvements coming in or possibly a pay raise you know you have three of cups showing up here as well i feel like this is better friendships better communities surroundings i also feel as if you're going to be more picky about who you date for those of you who are single and you're dating i feel like you're going to be more picky about who you allow into your life who you allow into your world and who you're giving um energy to so you know overall i feel the important messages are be disciplined you know you're going to get to the other side of this um and then the seven of wands i feel is setting boundaries the empress uh, i do feel as a good thing coming in is a new version of you the six of pentacles financial improvements as one of the good things coming in and the third good thing i feel is new friendships new communities more important so or more supportive uh surroundings here so that's what i am seeing here for you cancer i hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be don't forget that i do have personals open i have that deal going on okay it's a three question reading 
It's a same day reading. That means you get it within 24 hours. So you can either do the email version, which is 2222, or the video version, which is 4444. Okay. Uh, these do close out on Wednesday, October 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Everything's down below in the description box if you're interested, of course. But if not, and this is where we part, Cancer, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.